Hello, hello, this is Max, working on full 2014, the final exam, question 4C. Okay, so we need to implement the scheme procedure directions, which takes a number n and a symbol sim that is bound to a nested list of numbers. It returns a scheme expression that evaluates to n by repeatedly applying kader and ker, or kar and kader to the nested list. Assume that n appears exactly once in the nested list bound to sim, Hint, the implementation searches for the number n in the nested list s that is bound to sim. The return expression is built during the search. See the tests at the bottom for usage examples. Okay, so let's look at the tests. So we define a to be some expression that has one, and then a nested list two, three, and some more nested lists four. And our directions that we've been given are, so if we were looking for a one, we pass an a, we should just get the first element. Yeah, that's right, okay, so car A. So this is telling us like how do we actually get out. The directions is telling us how do we get out one given that we're given A. That's actually sort of cool, isn't it? So expect car A. So what if we're looking for two? Well, we need to do, first we need to get to the second element, right, cutter. And now we need to get the car of that second element to get two. And so cutter is giving us the pair. Oh, but here's why. So cutter is giving us the pair that contains two three as its first element. So we need to get two three out with this car, and then car is going to get us two as the first element. Yeah. Okay. So this seems fair, right? So let's um, let's take a look. So we we would start defining directions, and then we have two nested functions. So the first nested function is search s expression. So search expressions s for n and return an expression based on x. So you can sort of, I think s seems to be the, the pair construct that, you, that this is actually representing, right? So sim is a and s is actually this list here that is bound to a, uh, sim. All right, so let's see what we've been given. So condition number s so if our number, if our s is a number, so we sort of are given direction. Search an expression s for n and return an expression based on uxp. Exp. Based on exp. Okay. So if s is a number. Expression based on X. Huh. Well, if S is a number, it seems like you've already found it, right? And so you don't need to do any more directions. And so I think that, like, we just need to check whether or not S is equal to... Whether or not S is equal to the number that we passed in. So if S is a number, if, if N is equal to S... And it seems like we just sort of want to return. I, I think expressions is going to be, it seems to me that expressions is this expression list that you're constructing that's going to give you directions, right? So we're going to say expressions is the, are the directions that you've been given so far, I guess, right? And so we can say expressions are the directions you've been given so far. So if n is equal to s, then we found it, and we can just return expressions. Otherwise, we haven't found it, and we want to return nil, which we'll just say is means we haven't found it yet. Okay, so if it's null, we return nil. So this is sort of like the you haven't found it case. Otherwise, we're going to call search list s on expressions. Search list on s and expressions. So define search list s expression. Search an s list for n and return an expression based on x. I'm still not sure I understand exactly what X is asking here. So let's go back and make sure we do. Hint, the implementation searches for the number N in the nested list S that is bound to sim. The returned expression is built during the search. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it seems to me that X... It seems to me that X is actually going to be the list of... Um, the list of directions you've had so far. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Okay. All right, so what should first be? So search a nested list S for N 
and return an expression based on x. So we get an f in this test. So first is going to be seems to me that there are sort of two decisions that you can make here, right? You can either look at your look to see whether or not your first element is equal to n and contains n. Otherwise, your rest contains n. And this is sort of, what I think, what they're getting at here. So let's call, you know, let's just call search on our first. So first, we're going to say we've got first, and we'll say first is equal to search on car, car of s. And how are we changing expressions? Well, if expressions are the list of directions that we've given so far, then I think we need to tell people that we've, we've given it car. So can cons will add car. Is that right? Yeah, so cons to expression, right? Because we sort of build to the front, right? We add things to the front. So we'll cons car with expression so far. I think that should work. All right, OK. And so this is the first choice you either you either decided to explore your first path and that was successful, or you decide to explore your the rest of your list and that may or may not have been successful. So then we'll say cutter s. So we're changing s as we go, and now we're going to do cons. We'll tell expressions that we've we've done cutter. Okay. And this now this makes more sense, right? So if we, when we find it, we just return the list of directions that we took to get to that point. Okay, so you're either exploring the first part of your list or the second part of your list. And the way you can sort of come to this is by realizing that, well, you only really have two options when you're looking at a scheme list. You're either going to look at your first element or the rest of the list, because those are the only two instance attributes you have access to. OK, cool. So that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to post comments on Piazza about that. Uh, looks like D is just sort of building right off of it, so we can think about what directions to 4A is going to evaluate to. OK. so. We can say this is a little bit of pattern matching. We've defined A to be this, so it looks like I think it's helpful to draw this out. This is a list that goes to 2, 3, nil, and then it goes to something else. Now, this is super weird. Now we've got something that looks like nil, nil, 4, nil. Yeah, OK, so this is a contains two lists inside of it, and the middle, innermost list has a 4. So what are the directions we're going to give to someone trying to get here? So the way we'll get here is, remember we build from the outside, or build from the inside out. And so we're going to get a cutter of cutter A. So we want to get this list, and then we want to get a cutter again. And now we want to get a car. So now we're here, and now we want to get a car again. So now we're here, and now I want to get a car again. And gosh, I hope that's right. OK, All right, so feel free to post on Piazza if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and we'll get them answered. Thanks for watching.